All right, family, what a game this was. I turned to this right in the fourth quarter when I got off work, and I look at who is this? Tyler Zellich, Cody Zellich, whoever that is. He locking up Giannis. I didn't even know he was still in the league. But, hey, if the Heat, if they out there, the Heat going to find you and put some work to you. You know what I'm talking about? Got Brooke Lopez forgetting that's not part of his game. Just sit out there and shoot threes and block shots, player. Then all of a sudden, I thought I left my 2K game running and it went to demo mode because what the hell camera angle is this? I mean, I like it kind of. Get you right there in the action for the K-Love bucket. Speaking of K-Love, I forgot all about him being on Cleveland when LeBron left. Just left his boys for dead. Now he in the playoffs getting buck yagas. Getting buckets just like he always has. And this next play right here is just signs of a good basketball team. Look at all the action. You got the pick and roll. You got another pick. You got him coming off. Got the handoff. Got the pick and slip. And then you got K-Love. Yagas at his spot. Been doing that for years. Then on the other end, I don't think I've seen anyone defend Giannis as well as Bam did these few times down the court. Look, that stays in front, stays strong, blocks his shot. That's what I'm talking about. He can play for my team any day. The Bucks needed somebody to stop the bleeding. Who better than Drew Holiday? This is a hell of a step back right here for that corner, Yagas. Got another unsung hero, Max Strews. He playing defense like this? And he can come down and hit a three in your mouth? Man, I love these kind of players, and the Heat always seem to collect them. And once again, you got good half-court basketball here. You got a double screen over there for Jimmy. He reads it, goes back door. Connaughton, that's terrible help defense. You got to be sagging back there. Now, I can't get enough of this half-court offense. You got Jimmy setting the flare screen. Then he comes set the pick and roll. Rolls strong, gets the and one. That's just good fundamental basketball right there. Good pass by Bam. Underrated aspect of his game. He can improve on that and be a force. Once again, you got Bam initiating the offense, and right here, it's just a superstar being a superstar, a bucket getter, right in your grill, Drew, and then he's going to let you hear about it, too. Ooh, you know they was coming. I didn't feel so good for the Bucks after that. Once again, you got Bam on Giannis with perfect positioning, in my opinion, not too far away, not too close, kind of begging him to shoot that jumper. That's what he did. Got a miss. I don't understand why people don't play like that versus Giannis even more. Cream City, what the, well, you love when they show the kids and all the old people dancing and then, hold on now, it's always somebody with a cutoff shirt and a TikTok haircut doing the most, come on cameraman, do better, stick to the kids and old people, got 10 seconds left, two possession game, then Vincent Yagas, clutch threes, and I was like, oh, Miami still got a chance, then what the hell is this guy just chilling in the huddle, oh, you think you slick, trying to show off your fit. I like that shirt, though. That's kind of my style. And Zeller over here looking like he's the spokesperson for the Nike Air Monarchs. I love that shoe, too. Got a couple pair myself. Four kid minimum to have those shoes. Anyway, look at this play. This is a play of all ages. Might have a little offensive P.I. there. Throw the flag, ref. Ah, you got to let that go. Jimmy, once again, doing Jimmy things. Jimmy G. Buckets, people. Oh, that's definitely a two-hand shove. Did you see some ref? I don't see nothing either. Number one seed versus eight seed at home. They should be winning this game, right? Hell yeah, they should. Now take notes here, you young bucks who are obsessed with people having a bag. Drew Holiday is a damn good defender, and Jimmy Yagas just did a simple spin, got his body in the right position, came up, finished, gave him the glare like, yeah, this is my time, player. Now I don't know what the hell Coach Mike Bootenholzer, Bud Holzer, was thinking. He's got two timeouts. What are we doing here? We got we go end our season with Grayson Allen trying to Euro for the game time bucket, huh? They deserve to go home. Call him Hemi Butler from now on.